brothers, can you move to the, towards the window? All this gift Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we praise Him, we thank Him. Indeed, He is the Lord of the Lords. He forgives, accepts repentance, and His severe punishment on the disbelievers. I bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, according to His names and attributes. We send our greetings and blessings and salutation upon His Prophet and Master Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His family, his companions, the one who was a sign of the hour. He advised and warned us and struggled to convey this message. And fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he deserved to be feared. Today's topic is Kun Waliyan Allah or be an ally of Allah. Or be an Allah ally. The verse said unquestionably for the allies of Allah there would be no fear concerning them, nor will they have greed. When we reflect upon these verses, the allies of Allah is the one who believes and he is a pious. He is rich, meaning rich in faith, not financially. He does not need people. He only looks up to Allah. He who has a guardian to Allah with obedience, worship, love, and always fear in Allah. With humility and bound, then Allah is his protector and guides him and supports him, make him victorious, protect him and look over him. The ally of Allah is the one who have knowledge of Allah, sincere to Allah, who is erect on the obedience to Allah. He obeys Allah's commands and forbids his prohibitions. Whom Allah has blessed them with faith and piety, they are Allah's guard, guardians. Allah said, those who believe, and they were pious. Believing in Allah and His angels, His books, His messengers, in the last day, Allah decrees good and evil, Fearing Allah and being mindful of Allah, the Most High, in the open and in the secret. Minor, 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 minor and major sins, they is abstained and are mindful of it. Then you worship Allah as you, if you see Him. If you do not see Allah, then indeed Allah sees you. As reported in the book, in both books, the Prophet said, Worship Allah as if, he's, as if you see Allah. If you do not see Allah, indeed Allah sees you. So when you are alone, you realize that Allah is the one who is looking over you. And you will certainly know for sure that Allah is the one who is watching you, no one else. That's how you're supposed to worship Allah. Allah allies are the ones who certainly know Allah. Then they follow the straight path to obey Allah. They get closer to Allah by voluntary worship. They are from the good doers. In the book of Bukhari, it was narrated by Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him. He said, the Prophet said, Allah the Exalted has said, I will declare war against him who shows hostility to a pious worshiper of mine. And the most beloved thing with which my slave comes near to me is what I have enjoined upon him. And my slave keeps on coming closer to me through performing nawaku, prayer, doing extra deeds beside the composer or the obligatory, till I love him. When I love him, I become his hearing, which he hears, his seal which he sees, his hands which, which he strikes, and his legs which he walks. And if he asks something from me, I give him. And if he asks my protection or refuge from me, I protect him. This is those who are allies to Allah or Allah. Allah allies is the, those who are most protected and they defend the deen. They always close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with their hearts. And their hearts are always alive and connected to Allah. It's always busy remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Washing Allah all the time. They only listen to what Allah say. When they talk, it's only about Allah. And when they move, it's for spreading the message or helping other Muslims. Being loyal or an ally to Allah depends on how strong is your faith and how much you fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every believer have their share from the love and being close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This loyalty varies depending on your action from physical, heart and all the acts of worship that would bring you closer to Allah. This alliance divided into three parts or three ranks. One is the one who oppresses himself, the sinning believer. His alliance with Allah is according to his actions and acts of worship. And the second one is the muqtasid, or he who, who preserves, the believer who protects the commands of Allah and abstains from sinning, but they do not struggle or strive to pray the voluntary worship they are a higher rank than the first one. And the last one is the one who hastened to do the goods. They are those who pray the compulsory and also pray the voluntary worship. Then they do the heart worship to a high extent, closer to Allah. 
This is the highest rank of being an ally to Allah. And prophecy is the highest rank of ally to Allah. The verse said, then we cause to inherit the book to those who have been chosen of our servant. And among them is he who wronged himself, and among them is he who is moderate, and among them is he who is the foremost in good deeds by permission of Allah. That inheritance is what is the greatest bounty. For them are gardens of eternity which they will enter, they will be adorned therein with bracelets of gold and pearls, and their garments therein will be so. Servants of Allah being an ally to Allah is not limited to no one. Or is it by inheritance? Rather, it is a rank from Allah. It starts in the heart with love and glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then it is translated into practical reality. He who do it earns the love of Allah and becomes Allah's ally. Ahmad reported in his book, the Prophet said, Allah has two types of people. They said, who are the people of Allah? The Prophet said, that he said, they are the people of the Quran. They belong to Allah. Also in Abi Dawood Sunan and Musnad Ahmad, the Prophet said, from the servant of Allah, people who are not prophets, neither are they martyrs. The prophets and martyrs will envy them on the day of judgment. They said, O oh, Apostle of Allah, tell us who they are. The Prophet said, they are people of love, and they love one another for the sake of Allah. Without any blood relations or wealth, they exchange between them. By Allah, their faces are global light. They are on guided lights. They have no fear when people have fear, nor do they grieve when people grieve. Then the Prophet ﷺ said, I read the verse, Unquestionably, for the allies of Allah, there will be no fear concerning them, nor will they grieve. And this is the highest place you are in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as an ally. The allies of Allah are the most benefited servants. They have morals of the believers. The verse said, the servants of Allah who walk upon the earth easily. If the ignorance ad address them, they say words of peace in those who spend the parts of the nights to their Lord, prostrating and standing up in prayers. The allies of Allah, and when people see them, they remember Allah. And in Ahmad book, the Prophet said, should I tell you the best of you? They said, yes, O Messenger of Allah. The Prophet said, the best of you are, if they were to be seen, Allah is mentioned. Humble people. People, when they see them, they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they realize that these are the people of, of allies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is not a condition that an ally of Allah possesses a certain honor where they perform out of the ordinary. Something that we don't know, or something that is like magical or superpowers. Rather, the best of honor for Allah's ally is being erect on the straight path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you want to be from the allies of Allah, then come to Allah in, in humble and humility serving. And when my slave comes near to me is what I have enjoined upon him. And my slave keeps on coming closer to me through performing nawaku, prayer, doing extra deeds beside the composer. If you want to be from the allies of Allah, then come to Allah in, in humble and humility serving. Admitting you are weak in the need of Allah, away than anything or anybody beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And know for sure that any worship that is not in the book or in the tradition of the Prophet will not connect you with Allah. We only worship Allah and accept his support for Jazakallah khair. And we have a brother, Abud Ahmad Hassan, he had a liver transplant and we want your du'a for him, Jazakallah khair.